You can do it. I believe in you. You can do it because I don't have any ideas if you fail. Don't know how to fix you if you fail. What's up guys, my name is Khan and we're back today in Logic Bots. Now, I know it's been a bit again since this video, I've been so tied up with some crazy scrap mechanic stuff, but I've decided I think I'm going to try and do at least one Logic Bots video a week. And uh, I think I'm going to also take another day and try and mix in some more new games into the channel because I do love Scrap Mechanic and it's an awesome game, but I do need some time in between Scrap Mechanic videos to actually be able to get a little bit more building done. We're going to continue in Logic Bots with the career. And in the last episode, I, I didn't do this color navigation uh, level because this color navigation is a very, very complicated level. Let's just go look at the level right away. So you can see here... We have to start in this red circle or red square and move up to the yellow circle to the blue to this teal one over here go over to the red go up to the green red white teal again uh purple or whatever the heck color that is mauve purple i don't know what it's called blue and then this this pink again which is a different color from that and then back to the finish and so i was looking at this level and i always like to look at the levels before i uh you know start recording the video because i want to make sure i go into the the recording with at least a general idea of what I'm going to do and I was looking at this level and I kept thinking to myself you know how are we going to do this because at the first corner let's say okay so yellow means let's say turn 90 degrees to the right and then blue means turn 45 degrees to the to the right and then teal means turn 90 degrees to the right this red means turn like 370 315 degrees to the right and green but then what threw me off is the fact that this red here is the same as this red here and so you can't just have it store angles. And it was actually my girlfriend who came up with the solution. He said, well, why don't you use absolute directions? And so you can see here, we've got this, this compass on the ground and the compass points north. Well, every time you hit a red, you have to go south. Every time you hit a blue, you have to go northwest. Every time you hit a teal, you have to go northeast or cyan, I think they call it in this. Every time you hit a green, you go southwest. And everything else and i thought holy cow we can actually do this red will go south and then yellow will go west and so on and so forth so all we need to do is have a robot that understands when you hit a certain color you have to change the direction you're moving so anyways with this level of course we've got the, the standard objectives uh build a logic bot that can navigate to the finishing the color floor markers complete the level in one minute 14 i don't really care if we get the time limit great same with the budget if we get the budget goal you know great if not whatever complete the level without using a selective edition gate you know this kind of puzzles me because I, I know how to do this level and I, it was actually funny because after w I looked at this for at least 10-15 minutes I realized every one of these levels has information on the whiteboard and you can see here it actually shows us what direction each of the colors need to go in if let's say red is zero degrees green is 45 yellow is 90 blue is 135 and so on and so forth then we just really need to do math because I was looking at the sensors, and if we look at the sensors, well, let's put a, let's, you know what, let's get building this. Let's put a body down, all right, and let's just do this. And, you know, this is why I love robotics and I love logic, and this is, you know, probably one of the reasons why I took engineering is that, you know, there's just, it's, it's fascinating when you start getting into really simple instruction, and you break down a relatively complicated task, which is, you know, move different directions in each of the different colors, but yet you can break it down into a very simple instruction. And so a lot of people are going to think, well, now you're going to need, you know, a bunch of different conditions. You're going to need a condition that says, is it red or is it green or is it yellow or is it blue? But when you look at the color sensor, so let's put down a color sensor here. Now it has to look underneath. So let's just put it on the bottom here. So if you look at the color sensor, we look at the values. You got black is zero, red is one, green is two, blue is, yellow is three, blue is four, magenta is five, cyan is six, white is seven. And if we notice... Those are actually the exact same order as this. This is value of 1, value of 2, value of 3, value of 4, value of 5, value of 6, and value of 7. The formula is 45 times x minus 45. You thought you were going to get away from math. Now, I'm only going to make it front-wheel drive. Uh, I mean, we've, we've done it before where we do the whole thing as all-wheel drive, but I find... For some reason with this game, when you have all-wheel drive robots, yes, they turn on a dime, but they're also very jerky when they try and drive straight. Like when you when you come out of corners and stuff, they're always very, very jerky. And so I find front-wheel drive, although it's slower, uh, it's a little bit more reliable. So all we're, that's, that's really our entire robot. Now the rest is going to be handled in circuitry. So the first thing we're going to do, I guess, we'll go to the circuit board here. Let's put down the, the framework. And let's put down the color sensor and we'll put it to its little 
sensor values, the compass value. Now we're gonna use the absolute rotation, which actually is currently at 180. We need to be starting at zero. So I think we're gonna have to maybe flip this. Can we rotate it? Can we rotate it 180 degrees? Does that work? I think I think it rotated 180 degrees. All right, let's see the circuit board. Is it at zero now? No, it's at 360. I don't want it at 360. Why, are, why is it 360 and not zero? Oh, it says it's at zero now. Okay, is that maybe a glitch in the matrix? Maybe it's a glitch in the matrix. You know what? Let's assume that it, it comes out as zero because that's what it says on the compass there. All right, so we're going to have the constant. The, the logic bot's going to constantly be on. And this is what I mean. I don't understand why they need a selective addition block. It says add numbers together that are enabled by the Boolean input. If both Boolean inputs are low, then the gate output. I don't understand why you'd actually need this to do this. I mean, I really don't. So we've got both our motors always on by this dual switch mechanism. And the math is really simple. So if we take the color input multiplied by the number 45 for 45 degrees, so that is gonna be equal to some angle. So red times 45, and then I have to subtract 45 from that. So let's put another 45 here. So this subtract 45 like so, has to be equal to the compass rotation. Equal to, so let's get the compass value. And if it's not equal, then we need to rotate the entire robot until it is equal. So the idea being that if you're on the red space, the robot will constantly move forward. If it's not aligned with the direction it needs to be going off the red space, it'll rotate on the spot in one direction by reversing one of these two motors until it is aligned. So if they're not equal, then we can rotate the right motor. And it doesn't matter, we can pick the right or the left, but this is like a really cheap robot. And th like this should work. It should be able to, to, to drive. So let's see, so it's when this compass gets to zero degrees, it should drive straight logically until it hits the yellow. And then the yellow is going to be a different color value, which is going to set it to 90. And then, so it's going to rotate to the right until, oh, it skips it. If we give it a range of values that the compass is allowed to be in, then I think that's what's going to do it. We got to give it a range. The way this circuit's going to work is really simple. So the color value times 45, which is going to be zero for red, plus five degrees, if it's greater, if the compass value is greater than that plus five degrees, if the compass value plus five degrees is greater than that, which it will be, do I have this? How do I, is this backwards? This seems like it's backwards. Compass value is going to be zero. This is going to be minus five. If minus five is less than that value, then you got to move or if five is greater than that. No. Oh, this is backwards. This needs to be like, the, these gates are backwards. This needs to be the opposite way around, guys. I, sorry, I, trust me, it will work, I, I assume. Yeah. If this is less than, this should work, I think. That didn't do anything. The range needs to be on, on this guy, not on the compass. That's the problem. These are in the wrong spot. The, the range needs to be on the, the color value because the color value says the compass. Okay, we take the color sensor. We calculate with the 45 formula what the color sensor needs to be. We give it a plus or minus some value. So plus some value, minus some value. And the values are going to be here. Okay, five degrees, five degrees. Okay, this plus five degrees. Come on. Okay, perfect. And then you minus five degrees. Okay, perfect. So if the compass is less than you minus five degrees, then that's a problem. We don't need the knot gate, then you've got to rotate to the right. So that half the end condition. So if the compass is less than the color angle you're supposed to be at, minus five degrees, then you got to rotate to the right. We could do this in two different directions, couldn't we? Now let's do it in one direction. Let's just have it rotate in one direction to make it simple. This should work. Now it's going straight. See, now it's, now it's gone too far. 
So now it's gonna rotate around in a circle. You died. You're so useless. Go straight, robot. Wait, what? Oh, because when it leaves, it becomes negative 45. Because when it doesn't sense a color at all, it becomes nothing. Oh, this is really easy, actually. All we need to do is just put an and condition here. So we go and, and actually we'll just need, we'll just need this to be split here on the sensor input. Because when the sensor is black or nothing, it's equal to zero. So all we do is we put an and condition on here and we put a static value here and we put a check, a logical check here. There's probably a, a better way to do all this, but if the compass is not equal to zero, so this has to be confirmed with a not gate. And this is exactly how I would do it if it was in scrap mechanics. So there we go. So there we go. So now when it drives off the color, it'll sense black and it'll say, okay, but that's a value of zero on the color sensors. So this should work. So now it goes straight, hits this color, it's gonna rotate. Oh, it doesn't go far enough onto the color. Well, that's, that's a bit of a problem. So we need to, we need to move this color sensor way out to the back. Let's move you way to the back here. So you're gonna be way on the color before you do it. Okay, perfect. And let's also tighten up that tolerance. I don't want it to be five degrees. I want it to be not 51 degrees. Let's make it one degree. So it's gotta be really, really tight to the, uh, to the color. So let's try this. What are you doing? What are you doing? One degree too tight? Does it need to be does it need to be a little bit more? Maybe it's gonna go all the way around and then start. Perfect. Don't even care. Nice, sensor gets on there. Nice, nice, perfect. Alright, you can do it, buddy. I believe in you. Yes! Alright. Don't veer off course too much. All you gotta do is make it there. See, we have no control left or right while it's driving straight. It basically just lines itself up and shoots. And it hopes it can do it. Alright, come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Yes, alright. No, 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 buddy. Okay, you know what? He's gonna do another lap. That's cool. He's gonna do a 360. Alright, there we go. Don't miss the red, buddy. You can do it. I believe in you. You can do it because I don't have any ideas if you fail. Don't know how to fix you if you fail. It's going to be my new Logic Bots theme song, guys. The harder we get into these... What? No, you're supposed to go straight. Go straight. Okay, you know what? He's just going to do another lap. That's cool. Well, what are you doing? Buddy. Buddy, you passed it twice now. It's only these red ones that it really has a problem with. Come on, please, please, you can do it. Perfect, third time's the charm. You know, I'm actually really impressed that this is kind of working. I mean, um, this is part of the reason why I think using two wheels is better because it just rotates a little bit slower. But it's really amazing, you can see, the problem would, would tell you to store all the different directions you need to move in, but to a robot, that's just degrees. That's just a number, and if it's a number, it means you can do math, and that's really how this robot works. But it's working quite well. It's just, you know, it, obviously, to make this faster, you'd have to have it rotate in the proper direction uh, rather than doing these full 360s in one direction, but you know what? I, these red circles, I swear to God. Is it gonna... What do you think? Three times this time? I think three times. Come on, robot. You can do it. Oh my goodness, we're going around. Here we go. You spin me right round. All right, let's do it. Come on, buddy. Come on. These red circles, it's probably because it jumps from 360 to zero, and it doesn't like that jump. There, see, it got it. Third, no, oh, it was so close. You were the chosen one. Why? Why? Every other corner. Is fine. Oh my god. Let's just speed this up. How long are you gonna sit here for? Oh, there we go. Okay, I just needed to time ex- Oh my goodness, that was ridiculous. The game does not like red. It's just like, nope, no red. Alright, buddy, let's do it. Oh, it doesn't like white either. Oh, this is gonna- This might take a while, guys. So let's just- Oh, see, it almost went there, and then it, it was like, nope. Come on, buddy. Oh, I was so close. 
Uh, it's so close. All right, buddy, you can do it. You can do it. There we go, perfect. I think I think I probably should have given it a little bit more tolerance, maybe two degrees, um, just because you can see there it kind of jitters left and right a little bit. But it does work, which is which is quite awesome. We're we're almost there, buddy. We're way far off the time requirement, but we are going to do it. There we go. Excellent, excellent. All right, we've got three left, buddy. Three left. I believe in you. So it automatically will not change its direction ever when it's in between color circles. So if it went off course between these circles, we'd be completely screwed. But it seems like we're going to do it here and boom, shakalaka, shakalaka is what he said. Amazing. Definitely not getting that budget. What was the budget? Like $700? There's no way I'm getting How are you supposed to do that in $700? Maybe if you used a selective adder somehow. I don't really know. I'm trying to think now all the ways you could do this with a selective adder, but uh, I don't know. Maybe one of you guys might know how you do that with a selective adder. I, I, I really don't. I really don't know. But anyways, we did get that, of course, that achievement. Don't use the selective adder or addition block or whatever it's called. And of course, the objective. Make sure you guys hit that like button down below for the series. I am going to try and do at least one Logic Bots video a week. I also am going to try bringing back a few other games, maybe bring back some old games or maybe even start up a completely new game. Uh, I'm not exactly sure yet, but let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of that. I'm thinking still going to keep up with the scrap mechanic content, but I'd like to do at least two to three videos a week of other games as well. It kind of makes it up there a little bit. Uh, plus, it gives me a little bit more time to build some more complicated things in scrap mechanic. So make sure you guys hit those buttons down below. Hit that like button if you haven't already. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all next time.